Hey YouTube, this is Brendan with Zach Prep, and in this video we're going to be discussing how to multiply functions as well as how to divide functions. So as you can see, I've already written out the multiplication problem, and here is what a division problem would look like. For the multiplication problem, we have f with a closed dot, it's different if it's an open dot, uh, but f and a closed dot g times x. So what this means is this is simply going to be f of x times g of x. Now we can see that f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace f of x with that whole value. So I'm going to write 2x squared minus 3x plus 7. And g of x is 4x squared minus 6x minus 3. So I'm going to replace g of x with that whole value as well. minus 3. Now, when multiplying functions, we have to FOIL, which we, means that we multiply every term within the first function by every term within the second function. So let's say I were to multiply this out. I would have to do 2x squared times 4x squared, 2x squared times negative 6x, and 2x squared times negative 3. Now, you want to be careful when doing these multiplications because it is very easy to make a mistake. So if I do 2x squared times 4x squared, 2 times 4 is 8, x squared times x squared, well, when multiplying bases with the same exponent, you add them. So since 2 and 2 adds to 4, this is going to be 8x to the 4th. Now then I do 2x squared times negative 6x, well, 2 times negative 6, that's going to be negative 12, x squared times x, well, this is like an x to the 1st, so that's going to be x cubed. Finally, I do 2x squared times negative 3, which is going to give me minus 6x squared. Now that's just the first round. We're going to have to go back and do this again for this negative 3x. So I go ahead and I check that out. Now negative 3x times negative 6x, well that's going to be plus 18. Oh, I skipped one. So you see you have to be very careful. It's easy to mess up. So negative 3x times 4x squared is going to be minus, minus 12x to the third. If I do negative 3x times negative 6x, well, that's going to be plus 18x squared. And if I do negative 3x times negative 3, well, that's going to be plus 9x. And then I can go ahead and do this for the last number, which is plus 7. So plus 7 times 4x times negative 6x times negative 3x. I think you probably get the idea. So 7 times 4 is going to be 28x squared. 7 times negative 6 is going to be negative 42x. And 7 times negative 3 is going to be minus 21. Now what we want to do is go ahead and combine all the like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle any term that has x to the fourth in it. Well, we can see that there's only one term that has x to the fourth in it, so there's really nothing to combine here. So this is just going to be 8x to the fourth. In a different color, I'm going to go ahead and box um, anything that has an x to the third in it. So I'm going to box this. I'm also going to box this. And uh, that's it. So it's just going to be those two values that have x to the third. Now if I have negative 12x to the third minus 12x to the third, that's going to be minus 24 x to the third. Notice I'm just adding the coefficients, not doing anything with the exponents when I'm adding. Then I'm going to go ahead and circle everything that's x squared. So I have negative 6x squared, I have 18x squared, and I have 28x squared. Oh, there's the logo. Um, so 28x squared. Now negative 6x squared plus 18x squared is going to be 12, plus 28x squared is going to be plus 40x squared. Finally, we have 9x and negative 42x, which if I subtract those from each other, I'm going to have negative 33. And then at the end, I just have that minus 21. And that's it. That's how you multiply it out. So you can see overall, it's not too bad. It's just kind of a lot of steps, a lot of repetition that goes into it. And then we turn our attention to the division problem. So f over g of x, well, that's just going to be the same thing as f of x divided by g of x. So if I think about what f of x is, it's 2x squared 
minus 3x plus 7, and g of x is going to be 4x squared minus 6x minus 3. And that's pretty much how you do it. That's uh, going to be f of x divided by g of x. Um, you really can't do anything else to simplify. Don't try to cross these x squareds off. Those are called terms. You can't cross terms with each other, only factors. Um, and I don't believe either of these are factorable, so you're not going to be able to, to do anything to simplify it further. Um, and there you have it. That's how you multiply and divide functions. Thanks for watching.